Hello, hello everybody. I'm trying to get a make a video of the super red pleco colony I have going on here. I've decided I'm gonna end up I think I'm gonna keep all these young ones. I was gonna sell some I think I'm going to end up keeping them so I can really get these guys grown up. Because the problem I've run into is my five originals ended up being four boys and one girl. So I need more girls. I try to stay, I got to stay them back a little bit because they're they're pretty skittish. If I get too close to the tank, I think this is the female. Yeah. That's the one girl. She's the mom of all of them. Everyone's out and about. You can see all the little algae wafers I put up. But they. It's a good looking shrimp. But they are doing good. And there was another spawn. I don't see it every time I look. But there's at least one, maybe two or three of them. And they're really, really young. And they're doing good. This one looks like it might be a little younger too. There might, I think there's a few little mini spawns that I miss. I'll start getting a flashlight out and checking these caves. Look at the bristles on this guy here. <laughs> He's a pretty cool looking one. This guy's not bad either. Super red bristle nose pluckos. And they most definitely enjoy my new filtration system that I did a video on. That is two sponges. Hook to a let's see if I can get a video. Hook to a 400 gallon per hour pump coming up there over and that's just a little ledge to hold it up and it's capped off then we have a spray bar I've been meaning to clean this tank out for a couple weeks but I haven't but look at how clean it's even starting to lift up the moss and usually underneath these uh, big old clumps of moss there are great big huge piles of poop just chilling looks like we're getting Val spreading there I think I'm going to take everything I'm going to Leave some Rotala to help cover up the filters when I rearrange this tank. And I'll, I'll find a place to keep a little bit of moss over here in this corner. But I'm just going to let the Val take over. I like how it looks blown in the current and Val, is, Val does good in high current. And hopefully the yellow golden back shrimp We'll start doing better now that the water parameters and there's a lot more oxygen in the water and 
I mean, this is way overboard filtration for this thing. <laughs> this is like African cichlid level filtration. Pump turning over the water 10 times an hour. So, you're a good looking fella. Super red plecos. I've got to say, I think my line is pretty good and clean. I've got, I got a really good line. Let's go over here. They must have been fighting. He's got like a battle wound on his face. But I think he's, he's going to be all right. Looks like it's getting better. Last time I saw it. I got all these grown up. I want to do like a 125 with these guys someday. Because these guys are super, super cool. I know I'd been talking to a few people that were wanting to buy some, and I was trying, the weather wasn't good, and I was going to sell some. I'm, man, the more I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to keep some, keep them all for now so I can have a lot more to share later. Because i got to get more girls with all these boys. If I start getting regular spawns. I got a pretty good line. Pretty good line, I think. So, that's all I got for today. Just one, I ain't talked about super red pluckos in a while. So, under new, my new DIY filtration here, like, I think it's two, a week and a half or two weeks since I put this in. And the water is so clear and nice. And the pluckos are always out in the open in the current and not hiding. They're done. This has really helped this tank do a lot better. So, thank you all for watching. Bye.